can you, yeah, you know, if you, if you know us, I think our playbook's probably, you know, a thousand pages at this point over seven, eight years together. So, um, yeah, you always do, and, and you always find ways to better yourself in the off season. That's kind of, you know, that's always been my niche. It's always what we do now. We still have a foundation of who we are and what we are, but I think it's always growing with your personnel. Well, you know, obviously it's going to be Kyle, you know, as the number one guy and, and Zeb at two, and, you know, I think it'll be a dogfight from there. But the, the reality is, you know, and, and those two guys know it, the great thing is Zeb Nolan's played a lot of football for us. He's played good football, and, you know, I, I think that we said this from the day we got here. My goal in football and for really good programs, they've got great rosters and there's great competition. And so it may look like that today, but the reality of it is, is there's always competition. Right? Kyle would tell you that, Zeb would tell you that, and so would our, the rest of those guys on the roster right now. So, you know, everything's fluid, everything's changing, but, you know, certainly Kyle's earned the right to be the number one guy right now. Well, I, I mean, you know, now he goes into spring practice, he has 15 practices as the guy, and I think that's, that's really big. You know, I, what you saw last year was kind of a, a great foundation to what he could do, but I think growing in the offense, taking ownership in the offense, uh, the great quarterbacks that I've been around is, you know, you're not looking over the sideline for plays. The, the quarterbacks are the guys that take the game into their hand, and they can be almost the offensive coordinator on the field in a lot of ways. So, I, you know, I think that's a really great growth for a quarterback room in general, you know, no matter who that is or what that looks like. But I think even especially for a guy like Kyle that's got so many game reps now, how do you apply it and how do you use it to be kind of that field general, that guy that kind of take complete ownership of the offense? You know, I, I think the reality for David is David, in whether it's fair or unfair, David's David's have got a lot of room to grow because you're talking about a young guy that was a high school quarterback. And you go back to that videotape, and I think David's growth will come a little bit as well with the offensive line's growth. Uh, you know, the, the greatest challenge to this football team is can this offensive line grow? And can this offensive line become what championship teams look like? And they have championship offensive lines. Um, we're not there yet. We're not there today. Um, but there's a lot of room to work. And I think that it'll allow our running backs to grow. You know, David, a lot of it is improvised. You know, David phenomenal athleticism and his ability to to do things in space but that natural running back skill set and talent you know I don't know if we've got to see that yet to be honest with you because you know there's been a lot of improv improvising because of you know either scheme or because you know the lack of develop not it's not right to say lack of development but that offensive line just being young and not mature and you know it's nice to have four or five guys back that have played on the offensive line so you really hope that maturation process really starts to occur for this program you're so well you know i think really just settling in um and you know great for lawrence white got some really meaningful game rights game you know game reps through the season braxton lewis got some great game reps you know, you obviously throw in Greg Eisworth, Keontae Jones, um, guys that have played game reps, maybe not all here, you know, but have gotten meaningful reps. And so there's a lot of competition there. And then, you, you know, you throw in DeMonte Ruth and some of those other guys who, you know, can move around and play different positions. There's, there's as maybe as good a competition as well as with the D-line right now for meaningful game reps. Is in that secondary. You know who's gonna who's gonna play what position. Where do those guys sort themselves out? The great thing is we have options, and the great thing is there's there's certainly right now a lot of competition to figure that out. So I think the first thing we have to do is as a as a team and as a defense is figure out who's gonna play where. And you know a lot of that is who can we count on, who can we trust, who gets the bulk of those reps and when. And um, I think that's our starting point right now. Right now. Well, I, 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 you know, I think until we get through the spring, it's really hard to, to give a fair evaluation of that. The one thing Real has is elite athleticism. You know, he's got elite speed. You know, he's a guy that, that is a game changer in a lot of ways. But, you know, until we get through spring practice and see how much he can handle, what he can really do, you know, play, play, you know, with 20, 21, 22 year olds, you know, what's that look like? How's it feel? And so I, I think that's certainly a possibility because of his athleticism gives him certainly a shot to do something like that. Is okay. it that we've heard of? Yeah, the, I mean, really, the only guy, uh, Carson Epps, had, had surgery, you know, obviously after the Kansas State game. Mm -hmm. um, so he will not practice this spring. Uh, Jeff Noje um, had surgery after the spring on on his shoulder after the after the season on his shoulder. Jeff won't practice this spring for us. Um, there's maybe one or two other guys that 
that maybe don't come to mind right now. And then the reality of that is, you know, Kanae's kind of limited until we get him ready to rock and roll here. But I, I think he's really he's close. He's playing this spring, though? He'll, he'll play this spring for Johnny. sure. And Johnny will play this spring for sure, too. Is it something where you, as time goes along, you give him a little bit more and more? Is it kind of set right now as to what Kanae can do? Oh, you know, I, I, again, I think until you get Kene back on the field, you know, it, it, you want to take it slow. But I, I, the thing that was really neat for us was, you know, he got so, so many, a lot of meaningful reps this winter during bowl practice. And I think the big thing for me is, you know, we were really cautious even at that time of how much we gave him and how much we fed to him. And, you know, now you're coming off a nine-week stretch of, of winter workouts where, you know, he really pushed it. And, and again, I think you want to slow feed those reps back to him now as you, you bring them back. You know, I, I, we don't want to go fast. Um, we've dealt with this injury before, you know, and, and I think to ask him to do everything right now is, is a really big mistake. And so, you know, both physically and mentally. Um, so I think we'll take it slow with him, but I, you know, obviously he's a, he's a really special piece and, and somebody that can can really help our football team be successful in a lot of different ways. Well, you know, the neat thing for both those guys is, you know, Matt Leo, he got so much. You're, you're talking about this raw piece of clay that came to you, and now you watched even through the end of bowl season, and you saw this guy that was a football player, not just a man, that's a great looking guy walking around. You saw him using his hands. You saw him understanding what to do on defense. And then you give him nine weeks then to develop with the rest of those guys. And really impressive football player right now. And I wouldn't, I don't know if I would have used the word football player a year ago. You, you saw a, a kind of a, a really a, a, a fantastic athlete, but maybe not a football player yet. And then Camilo, you know, again, there's a guy that didn't get here until right before the first game. So I think that's really tough. And um, But Camilo, he's, he's dropped 20 pounds. You know, he's, he's in the best shape of his life. He looks really good right now. But again, I think both those guys should have high expectations because they're both guys that have certainly high end ability. And it's our job to get them to reach their full potential. If they reach their full potential, you're going to talk about two really high end football players. But uh, right now, it's potential. And so our job is to get them to fulfill that. And, you know, I think these 15 practices for guys like that are absolutely critical. It's a really neat thing for us. You know, I think we'll start off, you know, we'll start off with a four down front just because that's kind of like our foundation. It's not, that's not going to change, but it's great to have the ability to switch in and out and um, be able to play both of those. And I think as we evaluate who we have and what we have, you know, where are we at, you know, you're going to see us probably in both of those sets throughout the spring. And now it's time to evaluate what's best for us as we get through it. But uh, I think we'll be multiple. And, and I know I've said this, if you're just playing one of those today, man, it's really hard to play good football. And, I think you need them both. You need to have the ability to play both. And we're fortunate, you know, if you look at that defensive line, you know, you're talking 11, 12, 13 guys right now that are competing for playing time. And so, you know, you got to make sure that you complement your defense with that, with the ability to do that, but also having the ability, you know, with I think that linebacker crew right now too, there's a lot of good players that are fighting for playing time. So it allows you to have the flexibility to go to a three-man front of time as well. Well, there's big shoes to fill. I mean, you know, I, I think with what Joel was able to do and, and the consistency that he was able to play with. And is there going to be one guy that can match that consistency in that play? Is it multiple guys who are matching that? Uh, you know, I think consistency, though, is the word. And uh, those are the things that really gave us great production. And I think that's why you saw so much production from Joel is he got better every game. And by the end of it, he was a really consistent football player in the pass game, the run game, and the blitz game. He had the ability to do all three things really, really well. So I think that consistency from that spot is going to be really important. A lot of guys fighting for that spot. And it's going to be really interesting to watch that competition shake out. I mean, it's a game changer. You know, I, you We've been down that road before where you had to have a high school kid come in in, in, in June or July and then you know, have that guy you know, go through the growing pains of confidence and kicking, and both, both from the kicking standpoint and the punting standpoint. But to get those 15 reps, and there'll be really good days and there'll be some really tough days. That's just the nature of beast with a freshman, and especially at a spot like that that's so craft oriented. You know, it's like golf. And, you know, you're getting, you just need the reps and you need to feel the pressure. You need to be involved with that. And, to ask a kid to do that in, in June, July, and August, and then those first meaningful reps are the first time you step out in the Jack Trace Stadium. That's really tough. And so to get those guys those reps to, you know, do it in the spring game, to do it out in some meaningful scrimmages throughout the spring, I think really, really important for those guys. And obviously to be with Joe 
gosh, I, I don't know if, it's, if that could be any more important to what's going on in our football team right now than that that aspect of it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think in general for that line, it's, it's, you know, it's nice to, have, like I said, it's really nice to have guys back that's got some experience and playing time, but I think the reality of this group knows that, like, you know, their development is critical to our success. And, you know, if, if we're going to take a step in this program, I don't care if it's left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, and I don't really care who it is, you know, the best five are going to play. I think you've seen that from us, you know, and, you know, I think right now it's 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 a competition across the board. You know, if I played O-line, boy, I'd be fired up to come out today because I know, you know, no matter what position it is or where it's at across the line, i got a chance to go compete because I think that's, that's highlighted right now what our football program is at and what we're trying to get accomplished.